Hey guys. Hello. We are back with Oak Trim. Right here. Uh, so we got, um, I want to say all the flooring done up here, yeah. essentially. The only thing we are missing is probably the trim or the baseboard. So. Well, that's not flooring. That's moldings. We haven't done too many of the moldings yet. Oh, uh, right. We had to do these though, because like. Otherwise, thing. yeah. And you'd see the layers. So. So here is the new floor. And I don't think you guys saw this area. I think this area was all still undone. So, voila. Take a look. Um, and now, you can look all the way down from one side to the other without encountering linoleum. That's a good thing. Yes. So, it makes the space look a lot nicer and a lot brighter. Even with the same lights that we had before. So there's under the bench. I don't know when we're going to get to molding, but started working on a design. And El Baño. Here's the bathroom. So uh, we matched the seams here into the bathroom. And there's the new toilet. Still have to work on the sink. Um, and then on the back, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's, we've taken um, some of the leftover pieces and cut them into essentially subway tile like backing. So it matches the floor and it kind of provides a different texture to the back. So yeah, the next steps in here are a shelf um, and then a shelf that's gonna go along there there and then we're gonna have a mirror that goes up here probably to around here and then i think are we doing more subway tiling up yep. this portion and there's a shelf above the mirror yeah oh yeah so shelf right there yeah oh here we got the well we're gonna have to redo the cover but in the center of the room there's the wiring oh okay. Yes. And that's all nicely covered up now. I installed some rack rails and stuff in there too, but nothing's wired in yet, so I'm not going to show that off just yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to recut those pieces. I think it looks okay, but... No, they don't line up quite right, so mm. I, I know we can do better. Okay. And another then... thing that's new in here. <laughs> Only the best PA system we have, I have ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like awesome. a it's like an old church '70s PA. Japanese PA system. Yeah, and it's really good. It's smooth. It gives a lot of, it gives nice balance to both the bass and the treble. She's talking about guitar, by the way. Well, I'm She's talking about that the whole PA system and... as a guitar amp. It's not overkill. Don't judge me. <laughs> So yeah, and then on top is the tube, what is that, tube bomb? Yep. I think is what it's called. Here, let's... Haha! -ha. And that's a clean tone booster. Yeah, but it sounds really good. And then, did you show them the uh, wire? Conduit? Conduit? Yeah, some of it. There's got so far. one wire hole, and then the other one is on the other side. Start a new clip, and we'll check out the uh, the camera ring. Okay. All right. So this is another project that Whiskers been uh, finished. Actually, I would say, right? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So, woohoo! Ring light. So we've got white, we've got smooth white, smooth white, we've got RGB capability, and then you can do all three as well and you can adjust the brightness. 
and it was a super um, affordable project to to do so thanks think... to being able to borrow a water jet anyway yeah <laughs> and that's that's I guess the only thing that that uh, can't do So if you ever see folks with like eye highlights with a ring in it, that's usually because there's a massive ring light that the camera or the photographer is using. This is ridiculously bright too. Well, it's like a halo of light in here. <laughs> you know, let's point it at the camera and blind it. It's cool, man. I like it. It's fun. That's awesome. And here is the third project that Whisker has been working on. This is a... I don't know what it is. LC, 8 LCD yeah, rack mount. Yeah, it's 1U rack mount mm -hmm. with 8 LCDs in it and each one takes an NTSC signal. Yep. And I want to use it as a 8 channel um, spectrum analyzer. Okay. But to do that, I need to be able to draw a spectrum analysis onto NTSC. Right, which you used a propeller for. Well, I'm right. working on it. Propeller. Yeah, that propeller is doing that graphics demo on that screen. I'm working with the uh, TV object and the graphics object. Cool. And so, uh, other than that, I mean, we're doing a lot of work that will become obvious soon, but we're not really going to talk about it on camera just yet. But soon. Yep. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe. And follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.